Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Black and White's uh, Volume 11, I believe. And today uh, we're going to do a, a fun little pattern. I like to work in series sometimes, and I have a whole series of like constellation beads and things like that. So today we'll do a little bit of line work and some dot work on this bead. We might even make it kind of flat so you can actually see a nice pattern. Uh, yeah, let's get out of the round. We'll make this one kind of flat and oblong. I'm not sure which way it'll go. Anyway, um, that's yet to be known. So we shall see you afterwards and thanks for watching. Okay, so I wanted to show you the tool that I'm gonna be using today. It is a, a bead press and it's called The Tabulator by Catwalk Tools. And um, catwalktools.com, I believe. There it is. Check them out. They have great bead presses. I must have about 20 different presses. And uh, we'll get into those at some point in the future. But for today, I'm going to use the tabulator and I have um, all of the little um, stackers on there and I'm just gonna pop it into place right there so when I'm ready to use it, I am going to set it aside and it's ready to go. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull some stringers, some really thin stringers. So I want to make sure that I'm not pulling these out too slow that I'm pulling them out a little faster than I normally would, so they get really, really super thin. And I just need a few because I can uh, use a lot out of that. And let's begin by just adding um, a long footprint of footprint beads. So I think I did like five or six wide. I don't always count, but sometimes I do in my head and then you know when I get as wide as I want I will just wrap up as much of the glass as I can um, those of you who are watching for you know um, uh, educational purposes um, I'm I'm constantly in first position here it's in, like a you know I'm making a T with uh, I'm, I'm crossing over like with the mandrel and the cane. Okay, that first position, that's where you wanna be to get as much glass as possible to wrap up your bead with like I'm doing here. And then I get into the detail work in second position. But first let's go ahead, this is as large as I want it to be finally. And we're just going to roll it out just a little bit and then soften the whole shape. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll press it. But what I'm doing here is making a slight bicone, okay? Which is heating one side and rolling it out on the marvering table, just a little bit uh, cockeyed on both sides. And you'll get a nice little taper on both edges. And uh, it looks like I need to add a little bit more here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I think I'm just gonna add a couple wraps I never really add my wraps when I do this, like my final like buildup, if I need more glass. I don't ever add them to the very, very ends. They're always added uh, somewhere in, in the middle, in between the ends. And it looks like I'm doing four rows of two wraps each. And then I'm going to reheat all of that up until it's perfectly hot and uh, I turn up my torch a little bit here so I can get the most amount of my heat. I'm working on a Hellcat, by the way. This is a great torch from Carlisle uh, Machinery. All right, so now I'm ready to use this bead press. So I'm just heating up a little bit to make sure everything is perfectly hot. Then I lay it in the press very gently and now I just push that little metal part out of the way and gently push down. And this is all in real time here. So you have, you have plenty of time. If you put it in too soon, then it could uh, be pressed off center or 
you could press it too close to one side of the mandrel and that might crack later on. So be careful um, when you use your bead presses. And then I just wanted to heat out all of the chill marks so we can put our pattern on. And I'm using these really, really thin stringers that I, I don't use very often, but I thought, man, this is going to look great after I saw that picture and got my inspiration. It's great to get inspiration from just random drawings. And um, I hope you like my sketchbook. And I thought this one will be fun to make, putting all these little dots on here and just random lines, getting all my inspiration from uh, my little drawing. And then adding little bits of white here and white there. I do actually add a couple white stringers that I wasn't sure if I wanted to add or not, but I thought, you know, what the heck, just do it and learn from it. You know, if it looks cool, great. If not, then, you know, maybe uh, there's a, a better way of doing it. And it looks really cool, I think. This is almost finished. Well, not really, because I do want to add a little bit more. I think I, I may have uh, jumped a shark right here, but that's okay. I wanted to add a little borderline of Twisted Cane to finish it all off. Let's check out our black and white mystery bead. It came out a lot better than I thought. Let's take it off the mandrel and clean it out. And then let's compare this to um, my picture. It was a little fuzzy there at the end, but my Didanium lens fell off my camera and when I tried to put it back on I had to put this in the oven So then I could deal with that and then take this back out and fix it. So that's why the ending part is blurry If you have any questions on anything on the black and whites um, Let me know in the comments Other than that you guys all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time All right, here I am cleaning up my bead, and I know I say this all the time, but don't put the tool in the water, just the bead.